Oh, I thought this was America. So weird. Remember when TYT's own Ben Glee was heckled and threatened by Trump supporters? Ladies, what is with the duck lips? Who has ever seen a woman and been like, yeah, she's hot, but if only she could look more like a duck. <laughs> I've always wanted to make love to a duck, personally. It's like we love being people, but mm, we could also be ducks. <laughs> I think that's why I've elected a president who's orange. <laughs> With a tuft of duck hair on top of his head. Whose name is Donald. <laughs> My favorite policy of his is when he goes, Believe me. <laughs> Don't talk about the Donald! Oh, no? No! Oh, I thought this was America. So weird. <laughs> oh, my God. Don't talk about that. That's exactly what they would say in Russia. Don't talk about Vladimir Putin that way. Don't talk about the Donald. He's got you programmed, man. Holy wow. And at least Putin's like a scary guy. Trump's a idiot. You listen to what he says? We used to have freedom of speech in America. That was part of the country. Do you remember that? Free Trump. That was freedom of speech. I love the whole anthem debate he's very upset about always. Apparently now in America, you have to stand. You must stand. While somebody sings, Land of the Free. Better stand during the free part of that song. You better stand up. When he says how free we are. We don't use our damn brains anymore, I swear to God. You gotta hand it, Trump, though. The guy is a brilliant communicator. He really is. He really knows how to boil a message down to a simple component and he just repeats it over and over again. It's like he's hypnotizing us when he talks and it works, it works. So you can clearly see. And then after the show, not only did she come up and argue with me saying that you shouldn't make jokes and she's so tired of it, and I said to her, but the whole point of comedy and the history of comedy has been to speak out against social injustice and speak out about politics, and she goes, I know, but I'm just tired of it. Well, if you know, then stop your nonsensical comment and let me do what I do. And then minutes later, a man came up to me in the same audience as I was greeting the crowd after the show, and he says to me, you shouldn't talk about the president like that. I loved your act until then. And I said, well, why not? That's my right to do that. And he goes, I'm just telling you around here, you talk like that, you're going to get a in the back of the head. Glebe was told this after the show by MAGA, the free speech warriors, the freedom-loving patriots crowd, the America's too soft crowd pulled this on him. I am not going to stop speaking the truth that I feel needs to be spoken to protect the values that this nation was built on. So have a good day. And he walked off. It's not going to stop me because people have fought and died for this country. So if I have to tell jokes that are hard to tell and deal with consequences that are scary, then so be that because I'm not going to back down from people who try to intimidate me like Donald Trump tries to intimidate everybody who speaks against him. He would then talk about it with our audience. She was heckling me, and because she wouldn't let me even speak about the president and said you couldn't talk about the Donald I decided to triple down and go very hard, and then this guy came up to me and he said, you're gonna get a bolt in the back of your head. I know a lot of people walking around here who've been shot with bullets, a lot of people carrying around here, you better watch yourself. And it was just insane to me how Trump has effectively weaponized his supporters into trying to squelch any dissenting thought, trying to squelch free speech, and it's the very core of what our country is. So I said to the guy, I don't, if that's what has to happen, so be it. I'm not going to stop talking truth to power. I'm not going to stop criticizing our political leaders. I'm not going to stop speaking about the things I believe need to happen. Obviously, I'd prefer not to be shot. Please don't do that. Yeah. Oh my God. Um, but and you, and if you guys haven't seen the video, uh, watch Ben's entire just takedown of this woman so brilliantly. Thank you. And then ends it by like, I didn't even want to talk about this. And it was, <laughs> but you did. And, and it's like, listen, don't, don't heckle a comic, they will come after you. It didn't quite have the hostility and the, the, the enmity here is intense. I mean, the the, the, like the, the threat of a bullet in the back of the head, it's yeah. not even venom, it's just directly saying we will kill you if you continue talking this way. And I was an Obama supporter, but I still did jokes on stage criticizing Obama sure. over things yeah. I didn't like, things about his Afghanistan policy I didn't like. And and those jokes would, would kill. The very premise that Trump, the scariest part of it is that Trump is becoming effective at 
what he said when he says you, what you're seeing and what you're hearing is not what's happening. Yep. Yep. When he's, he's truly in that way the most Orwellian of leaders, he's so trying to create a trust only in himself and anybody who dissents from what he says is reality is an enemy of the people. He says yep. it of the media, obviously that extends to entertainers, it extends to anybody that is mm -hmm. freely trying to keep our government in check, regardless of party. And it's sure. so about him, and he's the one you trust, dear leader. And that's why he admires so much these authoritarian leaders in other parts of the world who can just crack down on dissent. But that's not what America is. So anyone who's a Trump supporter who remembers also that more important than Trump is the country that you love and the country that you came up in that made you so patriotic, the whole purpose of that country is to allow freedoms, to allow your freedom of speech, freedom of the press, the ability to assemble, the ability to speak truth to power. And if you give that up for this guy who's just clearly making stuff up because he wants to be the most powerful ego on the planet, that's yeah. a, a choice you will really sorely regret. Kudos to him. And check him out on Rebel HQ plus the main Young Turk show. If there's anything we missed, if there are any stories you would like to submit, get at me and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, DMs are open. I welcome your submissions. In addition, to keep us independent, to keep us going, go to tyt.com slash join. All of our content is free, so please do support us if you can.